Hey guys, Matt here. Um, I want to apologize if I'm a little hard to understand or hear. My voice is kind of husky. Um, I've been kind of losing it. i got a little bit of a cold. Um, anyway, I, I don't have a whole lot of time to say what I'm going to say. I have to actually leave pretty soon. And I'm recording this at night, so I'm sorry that the lighting is shitty. Um, I wish I had a better intro for this or had better, like more time to organize my thoughts. But this is basically just going to be kind of a crappy um, update video in which I kind of reintroduce myself, I suppose. Um, I haven't really done uh, like a QA and a or, or an update or really an introduction to who I am as a person um, in a, a really long time. Um, I've gained a lot of subscribers since that time and um, I've never really talked about like my job very much. Um, and I, I just kind of wanted to restart that at the beginning of this year because I'm going to really try from here on out to be more active on this channel. Uh, and it, to be honest, I wanted to start that process. I wanted to start focusing more on my channel last year, but I couldn't for um, a number of reasons, or rather I didn't feel like it for a good portion of last year. And I want to quickly explain why. Now, um, I want to say up front, uh, no cause for alarm or anything. This isn't going to be like a bummer. Like This is very much like a positive video toward the end, but I have to quickly recap some not-so-happy so, uh, stuff from last year. Um, 2016 for me was a uh, really tumultuous kind of year, personally, just within my family. Um, because I, I'm 25, uh, by the way, I mean, if you didn't know. And up until last year, I've never had any... Well, it's not quite true. I was going to say I've never had any deaths in the family. That's not entirely true, but the, every everyone who passed away up to that point was somebody that I, such a distant relation that I, I either didn't know them at all, or I'd only met them once or twice and they were, like, decrepitly old, so it wasn't, you know, exactly an unforeseen thing. Um, and last year I had uh, two deaths, like, of people that I had known very well, as my great-grandmother and um, my uncle, my mom's brother, uh, both passed away within months of each other. So that was that was a hard time and I really wasn't um, like for obvious reasons I'm sure I was spending a lot of time with family and friends and stuff and not really on the internet much at all to be honest um, and then there's the fact I, I don't really want to dwell on that so you know I'm just gonna kind of jump to like what my job is and if you if you don't know like I, I've, I've mentioned many times that I'm a, I'm a truck driver um, but what I actually, and for a while I was driving like a, a 53 foot trailer, um, or a tractor trailer, uh, all around the country. You know, I, I visited 42 of the 50 states, um, and you know, it, it was a huge, like, you know, adventure, and it, it wasn't always easy, and you know, um, certainly there were places that I've been that I will never go again and things like that but I got to see a great deal of the country I, I I've never been outside of America um, and I still haven't and but up to that point I'd only been to like uh, seven or eight states I guess you know really kind of spending a whole a solid year year and a half living sort of on the road it, it was a huge learning experience and I got to see a lot of the country that I never would have gotten to see otherwise or would have never thought to see, even seek out is the, is the interesting part there um, but when I anyway while I was doing all that I really had no time for YouTube at all uh, this that's going back a couple of years I guess and so I took a job in the middle of in the summer of 2015 um, closer to home and even since that time, I haven't uploaded very many projects. And I kind of want to explain that the nature of my job, I, I drive what's called a roll-off truck. Um, and I basically deliver in and pick up um, large boxes where people um, dump refuse or recyclables or yard waste from construction sites. Um, whether that's like a commercial construction site or like somebody doing like remodeling their house or like residential work, um, like whatever that is, you know, and I, so I drive all throughout the county and I don't really go to the exact same place every day. And depending on traffic, depending on um, truck, like, like mechanical issues, depending on the weather, like any number of things, 
I work, I typically work between 10 and 14 hours a day. So when I'm working and doing school, there are going to be gaps in what I do or what I'm able to do on, on the internet. Um, going forward, and that's been the case in the past, is basically what I'm trying to say. But even without school, um, in the summertime, my job is extremely time consuming. Lately, this time of year, uh, oftentimes in the, in the summertime, I work 10 to 14 hours a day, six days a week. Um, lately, I, I don't work Saturdays so much. And even my days, like my Mondays and Fridays, have been pretty stress free. Um, but that's sort of seasonal. Uh, and what with the combination of like the deads in the family and things like that, I spent a lot of my summer, like when I, when I was free from work, I was spending time at like the beach or the, the park with like friends or family or things like this and really just kind of trying to get the most out of life. I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say. I, I wasn't on the internet very much. And then at the end of last year, my grandmother, who's extremely dear to me, um, right up there with immediate family, you know, um, like she's the just as good as um, my mom or dad or my sister or whatever to me. Uh, she was told she had cancer um, right around Thanksgiving. But uh, a couple of weeks later, it turned out that that was, turned out to be some kind of misdiagnosis. Um, she, she does have a tumor pressing against her spine which is causing her um, sort of back trouble, like when she's walking. So she's not 100%, um, but it's not it's benign. It's not cancerous. And so she's supposed to have surgery to get that removed so she can walk and be, you know, physically fit or whatever, um, free, free from pain, I, I suppose what I'm trying to say. But that was a big scare, like for me personally. I definitely wasn't in a YouTube headspace at that point. Um, but you know, obviously I'm very grateful and thankful or, and everything that that turned out to be just a scare and, and not the actual case. But that's it's only very recent that I'm, I'm able to sort of recalibrate from that. Um, and what with holidays and family and all this kind of stuff, you know, travel um, and visiting relatives and, and stuff, I just haven't had much time to even really address the issue for you guys. Not that you guys knew that any of that was going on until now, but whatever. But anyway, that that's kind of... I just want to explain all this because I haven't really explained the nature of my job. It's been a long time since I've done like a proper uh, explanation of, of who I am and, and, and what my life is like. Um, and I've, I've gained quite a few subscribers since that point. So I feel like a lot of people who watch my stuff don't even know who I am, which is fine. I, I enjoy the privacy, to be honest. But at the same time, I do want to foster more of a relationship between myself and my viewers. Um, starting this year. Like I said, I, I wanted to start doing that last year, but for reasons that ought to be obvious right now, that didn't pan out. But going forward, uh, this year, um, I, I, I am still going to be busy with work. I can't promise much in the way of like a, a true schedule or um, anything like that, but I, I'm going to promise you that I'm going to make a definite effort to be more active on my channel this year. The next thing I want to say is I want you guys to, I'd really like to do a Q&A video. Like I said, there, there's quite a lot of, the original Star Wars questionnaire that, that kind of floated around the versus video making community, um, that was answered by me, but that's going back over five years. You know, it kind of freaks me out how long I've been on YouTube sometime, or sometimes. <clears throat> and, um, and I've done a multi-part or two-part, I think, um, question and answer project. But, but even that's three or four years old, I think, at this point. Um, so like I said, there's there, there's a lot of viewers who I think don't know who I am or, or haven't had the chance to really ask me anything um, in, in a orderly fashion where where I can kind of like read through a list and, and give you guys all these answers. So I'm, I don't mind even redundant questions, whether it's Star Wars related or not. It can be a personal question. I don't care. Um, I may not answer it, depending on if it's stupid or, uh, you know, inappropriate or, or whatever. But you can ask it. You can ask whatever you want, and I will promise I'll read it. Um, I'm, I'm inviting you all to do that now. You can ask more than one question, just one question, whatever you want. I don't care. Um, go ahead and leave your questions in the comment section below for this video. So, question and answer video. That's coming. Uh, next, I'm going to tell you... I'm going to tease kind of what I've got in the works um, versus video wise I first off I want to say this generally I don't like to um, 
reveal who I'm using or featuring in my videos because it's just my theory, but I feel like it's more fun and, and sort of spontaneous for you to see the match, see the matchup, have a brief moment to click on it um, or think about it uh, or think, think it over before you click on it and sort of challenge my views with your own or agree with what I have to say, like in the moment. I kind of like it to be a spontaneous, smooth experience. I don't like to give you weeks and weeks to develop your own thoughts on the issue before you come to it because I just feel like it's a little bit more tedious and, and sort of uh, not as fun that way, anyway, for me. Um, or just in, that's, that's my theory, anyway. So, and the other reason I don't like to do it is because oftentimes after I promise something, a great deal of time goes by between the actual promise and the fulfillment on that. So I don't like to tell you what I've got coming too early. But I will say this. I have three completed scripts that are just my work, and I'm working on an additional uh, three projects for sure, um, with the scripting and edit editing and uh, of the actual video itself has, is underway um, that are collaborations. So there are six projects in play, and I will say this though, one of them is, this is not a collaboration, this is one of my just me works. But one of them is still the Sharad Het versus video. I have not forgotten that. I promise you, it wasn't a lie. I know that I teased that over a year ago, but I, I'm being really anal about the writing of it. I, I, I've written and rewritten that that script so many times, and I've finally gotten it to where I I'm happy with it. So now I have to narrate it and record it and. Um, edit it all together so it, it's still a ways off but it is coming i promise you that um and and one last thing uh if you got if, i i know i've mentioned this before in some of my other uh videos but there's a there's a fellow you know people that tend to the, the force cast people like me um like myself evan nova jen sarai reedy four and antoine bandelay um we're kind of like the the popular I, I hate to put it that way I hate, i'm not trying to be braggy at all but the, we're the, like the more well-known group of versus video content creators i guess out there but there are many people who make videos of this sort um and many people who offer like interesting and personalized commentary on the star wars setting um out there and one of my personal favorites who's actually not especially obscure because he's got a decent fellowship or um following is a uh, sci-fi soup the user called sci-fi soup who i know i've mentioned on my channel many times before but really the reason i bring him up is because um from like after getting some encouragement from him i've decided to begin a lore lore run of um Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, which is my personal favorite video game of all time. And the reason for that is because Sci-Fi Soup is conducting a lore run of the game Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, which is the game featuring the character Jaden Kor, the student of Kyle Katarn. Kyle Katarn himself being a popular um, protagonist in his own right from that series and, and other series. Um, but anyway, uh, Sci-Fi Soup encouraged me to go ahead and do the same thing he's doing just for Knights of the Old Republic. And if you don't know what a lore run is, it is essentially a an extremely in-depth playthrough or let's play of a video game wherein the player shares their insight into the, the setting and the setting's history and continuity and characters and themes and whatnot as they're playing. So it, it's, it's pretty much the antithesis of a speed run. It's much more of an uh, in an interactive way of exploring the Star Wars setting, in this case, the Star Wars setting could be for any video game, but in this case, I'll be able to share my knowledge of the Star Wars setting by taking a trip through KOTOR, and I've been testing out the materials that I'm going to be using to give you the best quality product that, that I think that I can um, in that regard. So that is coming at some point. I can't promise you an exact date, but I can tell you that it's coming. And I also want to make note that I think that the term lore runner was coined by the YouTuber Lore Runner, who was formerly known as Arshan Gaia, who's a great um, YouTuber in his own right as well. Um, I actually have him in my featured list of YouTube channels on my channel page, so if you don't know who he is, go and check him out. And again, um, uh, Sci-Fi Soup is doing fantastically with his own lore run project of Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy. 
So yeah, um, that's kind of who I am, guys. That's that's why I've not been uploading as frequently as I would like to have been, and going hand in hand with that, um, just kind of like I guess thank you for still for the fact that I'm still relevant, semi relevant. Um, I hate for that to sound in any way braggy. That's not the point. It just it really is um, kind of mind boggling to me that I still have a dedicated dedicated um, viewership even though I don't upload all that often. Um, and, and a lot of my work, you just have to take my word for this, because people write in with very personal messages. Sometimes they're public comments and sometimes they're private messages, but people write in and they're often moved by what I what I do. And um, one of my favorite examples of that came from my work on the Sharad Het character profile, where I had people telling me about, like, you know, how the video reminded them of their their deceased parents or, or their, you know, um, Better yet, the video kind of served as a reminder to appreciate their father or, or, or whoever while he's still here. Um, and, and so comments like that, you know, the fact that, that me just talking about nerdy comic book stuff or, or characters that have moved me and their stories thematically, um, that me being able to share those stories in meaningful ways that touch others, like, I, I can't really explain to you just or express to you just how much... It's just an awesome feeling, I, you know. I I, I babble on endlessly, if so. That's all I can say. It's just it, it's extremely rewarding and, and sat satisfying. Doesn't do it justice. It, it's it's a combination of just positive, intense emotions that I get whenever I get a comment like that. So I I'm I'm very thankful for the fact that I still have people who care about. Not, not really what I have to say, but, but care about the same issues that I do, who are passionate about the same things I am, and, and that I have something meaningful to contribute to that discussion, um, even though I don't upload very frequently. Just the fact that th those of you who are watching this video have stuck by me um, is, is great. And I'm, I will try to repay you guys by being more active on this channel this year. And again, um, the, the earliest way that, that will happen is, again, I, I will encourage you to leave questions for the Q&A, which I'll record later this weekend. And I'm going to go ahead and stop babbling now. Thanks so much for listening, guys. Sorry for the disorganized nature of this. I really have to get going now. And as always, may the force be with you. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.